what's up guys this is big mobile mechanic llc uh you're not looking at me because i got my head cam uh we have a 2018 dodram 1500 lone star 5.7 liter and uh it's got um a bad break uh a brakes a brake leak uh, let me put it that way it's a brake leak uh customer's not here he's still i don't know where the heck he's at um he called me earlier said that he needed it done so i showed up he's not out here i drove i think maybe like 30 miles or so to get out here now that i got this truck which that's the whole reason of me turning on right now because i want to show you all the new truck this is a dodge ram 2008 dodge ram it's not a new truck of course but i mean to me it's new and also i've never had a diesel truck it's got a six seven liter and it, it's got 161,000 miles, 422. Um, everything seems to be working and everything. I just got it maybe a couple of weeks ago or something. Uh, runs great so far. It's all manual. Everything's manual. I guess it's Dodge for you. Um, let me go show you all the outside right quick because that's the best part of this truck. Um, I think. I mean, the whole thing's pretty good. It's got everything on it. Now, I'm not gonna shut y'all off or anything. I'm just gonna show y'all around. Here's the new truck. Hope y'all can see it. It's got the toolboxes all the way around. It's got the lift gate, which I forgot to lock. It's got the lift gate. I've got everything. My compressor's on here already. I got my generator, my um, battery uh, starter, my buckets, toolboxes. Got a big old toolbox up there in the front. Got some strobe lights already. The oil catch can, uh, cooler, step ladder, another uh, toolbox here. And all my toolboxes here on the sides. So I'll show you in a minute how they're all loaded. It's a little dirty right now. I have been driving with it for a little while. I need a headlight. Uh, for you guys that that are diesel guys, maybe y'all have a better understanding of these diesels um, and can give me some tips, man. Uh, I don't know much about these these diesels. Uh, I'm not a diesel guy. I have worked on a lot of diesels, but never had owned one if any of y'all can give me some tips and tricks or whatnot to to mess with it also i'm i um been st uh, doing some research on it and it does have the dpf system and i do want to delete it i do want to delete the egr cooling system um i want to do all that i don't know how to go about it i don't know what to do also i forgot to show y'all I have a big old gap here which the toolbox look at the tire and where it sits the toolbox sits a little bit further than than where it's supposed to be i want to move it if y'all have any tips and tricks on that uh this the bottom is just anchored down with some u u u bolts i guess also i want to uh dually it i want to do the dually system um, I don't want to get the whole new axle. I don't want to put a new axle on it or or any of that with this uh, I don't want to do a whole like expensive as uh, dually axle or differential or whatnot. I want to get those spacers and just buy some new uh, dually tires do dually rims and uh, throw it on there and let me run because as I'm driving it sways me from side to side uh scary as shit sometimes because it can get pretty tense out here in the san antonio area um on driving um the cars right beside me and then i'm, I'm waving side to side it gets kind of scary and sketchy but if uh any of you guys have um any comments or have any tips for me on on how to do go about that because i don't know how to go about getting the spacers i've been doing research and youtube and google and all this stuff on spacers and stuff and they got a lot of them out there 
but they say you have to measure and and do all that stuff i'm a mechanic of course but i'm not i, I don't know anything about these dualies and diesel engines um i mean i know about the engines a little bit to where i can work on them and stuff but not to where i can um fix them to where i guess fix uh the like deleting stuff the deletes and all that stuff i don't i'm not too 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 sure about all that so if y'all got any anything y'all can um help me out with that'll be greatly appreciated um all right i guess that's it for now uh this is the new rig and it's freaking running great man everything's good on it like i said it's just it's got a couple of miles on it and and it's gonna be the work truck from now on chevy's still sitting at home the ford i got rid of it had that bad timing chain issue so i had to get rid of it and and of course i got the chevy at home and then i got this the diesel here now and it came out uh, it was a good great price so i took on it and uh so it gave me a little bit of uh uh room to be able to um uh put some money into it or, or some parts into it what do y'all think of this uh hill here this is a badass hill here rv park really nice all right i'll turn y'all on when i start working on this uh dodge big trick box on it yeah <laughs> it's uh been a while but it took me a while to get it but i got it so uh what's going on with your vehicle well i had a, a we had wreck we drove it off and everything but then the, the brakes started Just be careful with this uh, okay the brakes started uh, leaking yeah i can see some spots you can see brake fluid. Yeah. And so you know, so it was going down. And your brake fluid goes down. Well, I'm, when I was driving, it was going down like a little crap. <laughs> and you ran it. You ran it a truck, huh, or a car? Yeah. Anyway, I got a lot of. Like cardboard or something, if you need it, but you got you got the right tool in there anyway. So yeah. You get under the you want me to move it? No, I got it. I got it. Should be fine there. Let me see if I can see the leak right quick. But more than likely, we're gonna need. brakes that's your leak that's your leak you need new brakes you don't run this truck do you a what you don't run this truck no I drive don't. you do yeah no of course but not now you got the other vehicle for this no I'm renting for now? This. oh you're renting that yeah okay because I need to drive this okay let me uh, get it up in the air because I think we're going to have to uh, get a new caliper, brake pads, rotors. Okay, all, all together. All right. Okay. Let me get up here, get, get it up. Yeah, and then we can go from there. The yeah, I found the leak. It's on the caliper itself. It's because you don't have no brake pads. Yeah. The the pistons on the caliper are pushed all the way out and then the fluid's coming out of the caliper. So we might might be able to save the caliper, but not the rotor. The rotor looks gone already. Also, 
I'll be able to throw some cardboard down. That's what I love this truck for. Because I can carry everything. Get in and out of it like nothing. I was going to say I got some cardboard. Yeah. You know, I, uh, since I've been driving this truck, shoot, I can carry all kinds of sizes of, sizes of cardboard and stuff. Let's see if I can grab it from this little guy here. Just get it up in there. We'll put a chalk down. I don't care if it's in the right place or not. I like stuff in the same place every time. What's that? Nah. Yeah, the shade, it, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. I I, I don't worry about the shade or the sun or none of that. I'm not used to it, but it uh, doesn't make no difference because the sun moves around. It can be in one spot one time, one minute, and it can be on the other spot the next. Let's see. Uh, We'll get our battery. Get our battery here. We'll open up our truck, get our impact. Where'd you go eat? Uh, over on those side starts with. Oh, okay. I thought you were in, in the Bronfels. I was like, dang, he is going to take like 20 minutes. You took less than 20 minutes. All right, guys, here's my impact drawer and drill drawer, uh, ratchet drawer, whatever you want to call it. Socket drawer, extension drawer, ratchet drawer, whatever you want to call that. Still in the process of trying to figure this out. Let's see what we got here. 19 and 18. I'm gonna go with 21 all the time, right? You have the key to this thing? Yeah. Oh, it's not a 21. The key might be a 21 though. Either which way. It's coming off. Nah, I got a chalk on there. It should be fine. Oh, okay. And we're only pulling that one side. Would you have the key in here somewhere? Or? I got it in the oh shit! Sorry, bud. No, 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 not the, that key. The key to the lug nuts. Oh, uh, that's in there. Let me, yeah. You want me to grab it or? Yeah, I have to. Well, I have to look for it. I, All I right. Such a crappy phone. Gotcha. Man. I'll start pulling these other ones off while you're doing that. So my theory is I got lucky on that. Huh? I got lucky I found it. <laughs> it it's just any, any paperwork, I, it all falls like in a giant suction or something. You can't really find what you're after. <laughs> so. well, we found that sucker. Oh dang it. That's a lucky one. It don't happen that way ever. All right, see the. Oh man, we need rotors bad. Holy smoke! So your bro rotors are to a razor blade here. Oh yeah. Okay. Look at that. That's a razor blade there. Okay. So we need rotors. We're gonna we're gonna need uh, brake pads. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm gonna hope we can save that caliper. Uh. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't maybe think that we're gonna be able to save that caliper. Let me take a look here with the flashlight. Well, yeah, no, we can't save that caliper. That caliper's got a big old chunk of it miss, missing. All right, so how far is Starsville from here? 
Oh no, well, it, it's right up at the light up there. You turn left and there's no so it's not too when you're right in Napa when you okay. Left the bed. All right. Oh, right, right. We're not doing a caliper on that side. Let's get on this side. I want to look at your front brake pads because your if your rear brake pads are bad. Yeah, well, they they put some real crappy jets. They're nasty black. Oh man, you need some new brake pads up front also. Holy smoke. Anyway, the question is how long are we going to take you to do all of it? How long? Yeah. Uh, a couple of hours. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's all right. Somehow. If I can get all the parts, I'll, I don't mind getting started on it. Let me get a jack stand right quick. But you know, if I can drive this, would be this way. Uh, let's just put it under here. For now. Just left the uh, O'Reilly's after picking up all the parts, which the guy needs. Uh, Y'all seen it? It's uh, all around or rotors in the rear, brake pads in the rear, brake pads in the front. One caliper, which is that passenger side right ca rear caliper. Um, just left O'Reilly's over here in um, Cannon Lake, dude. I used to use these guys, and they stopped. They started. They were acting kind of weird and uh, treating me wrong and stuff. So I stopped coming to Canada Lake. Canada Lake, y'all impressed me. Y'all are doing great. Freaking, well, this is O'Reilly's in Canada Lake, by the way. They're awesome, man. They, they freaking, I, I will come back. I am gonna start coming back to Canada Lake as long as my truck runs fine and everything. I will be doing Canada Lake from now on. So anybody that watches my videos that, that gets stuck or gets, um, if their car breaks down in Canada Lake, give me a call because I will be doing Cannon Lake from now on. Great job, O'Reilly's. Chunk of it missing. 
right there. And you can see that it's leaking from the caliper itself. We don't need it anyways. Destruction. These are brake pads. Almost metal or metal on metal already. This is gonna be big in. Now we're gonna be able to pull this fucking rotor off. It doesn't even have a beam, beam goblin. Shit, guys, that's what I gotta deal with. Look, that freaking disc there almost went all the way through. Look at that razor sharp. These are the ones that I've been telling you about. Here, we'll get you a new one. Comparison to that, that's bad. Clean it up a little bit. back on so it's not bleeding and leaking everywhere well you know what it comes with the bracket caliper bracket nice
shit. size it is. I was recording the whole time. I replaced the caliper, replaced the rotor, replaced the brake pads, and now I'm just waiting to see if we can get this sucker to bleed out on its own. Hoping it does. We don't have all day to be waiting on it, so hoping it trickles out on its own. If not, I'm gonna put some a tube on there and see if I can get it to siphon. We'll see. Same thing over and over. I'm just 